Harry, right, everyone, Jody Paul here. Welcome back to Magpie Movies. Thanks for coming back for another video. And today is review day. And today I'm going to be reviewing 2012's Aftershock by Eroy Roth. So stick around and let's go through this together. Hey everybody, Jordy Paul back here. Thanks for sticking around. So yeah, last night I watched Ellie Roth or Eli Roth's Aftershock. Uh, it was a film that I've been wanting to watch for quite a while. Um, I'd seen the trailers and I quite fancied it, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so the film, let's go through the specs. So it's full screen, so it's a 185 by 1 aspect ratio. It's on for 89 minutes. Uh, it isn't all in English. Um, I, parts of it is Spanish because um, the local characters in this speaker but that's all subtitled so there's no problems there um, so let's go through the storyline there are a group of three people Ali Roth is one of them and two of his friends they are all in Chile um, and they all are out partying one of the guys is really rich his dad has loads of money so they're all out partying as such in Chile they meet three girls and the first 35 to 45 minutes of them is, I'm guessing is building uh, the background to the characters um, to find out how they all interact with each other as well as the girls and how the girls interact with each other as how as well as how the girls interact with the three lads. Um, then obviously the whole idea is called Aftershock is because there is a um, obviously there's an earthquake about 45 minutes 40 minutes into the movie there's the earthquake um, and then they escape from the club that they're in and it's all about survival from there. You know, with, with, with regards to the earthquake, it's affected, as you find out further in the story, a local prison. So therefore, then local prisoners are on the loose and, of course, our six individuals run into them. So that's basically the synopsis of the movie. Um, so from my point of view, when I was watching it last night, I think it took a bit too long um, to get into the actual reason you're watching it. The whole idea of a kind of a disaster movie is you want to kind of, yeah, get your character development out straight away and then get straight into the action but this seemed to take a long time to get into the uh, the action itself like i said it's 45 minutes into it before the actual um, quake hits uh, and at that point obviously then all hell breaks loose for an uh, eli or ellie roth movie there's not as much go as i thought there would be i mean i'm a big fan of cabin fever and, and the hostel movies um, but this one, I know he didn't direct it because it's directed by, um, who is it directed by? Nicholas Lopez, but uh, Ali Roth acted in it and wrote it. But yeah, it's it's not the best film, I'll be honest with you. Um, some of the dialogue in there is a bit rubbish. It's a bit cheesy, it's a bit corny. Uh, like I said earlier on, it takes too long to get to the actual action. Um, but yeah. It's watchable. It's a one-off. I don't think I'll watch it again. Like I said, it's only on for like 89 minutes for just, just less than an hour and a half. Take out the credits, probably like an hour and 20, 25. But yeah, I mean, if I'm going to give it a rating, a Rolfie rating, it's probably going to be five and a half, six out of ten. But I'm probably going to go with five and a half. Um, from an Ellie Roth point of view, I, he's done better films, like I said earlier on, with regards to Cabin Fever and um, the Hostel series. I did like Green Inferno by him. That's got a lot of gore in it. Um, but this one, it's a one-off. There's nothing to write home about with it. Uh, there is a twist halfway through it, which you can't even probably guess as it goes through it. And then, of course, the ending is predictable as well. Uh, there's all special features on it. It's the trailer and an interview from 2012-2013 at the Glasgow Film Fest up in Scotland with uh, one of the actresses, Eel Roth, and the director. Now, other than that, there's nothing. The only thing, obviously, I'm thinking going for it is it's watchable. It's kind of enjoyable. And for me, it's full screen. I love full screen movies. The 185 by one aspect ratio is great, especially in the larger telly, so you get a fuller picture. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So I'm going to go with final decision of 5.5 out of 10 for this. Um, so yeah, so that there is Aftershock by Il Roth. Uh, if you fancy it, watch it. It's only about three, four quid music my pie or eBay. Uh, it's not on any stream platforms because I looked in there first. So there you go. So 
thank you so much for watching um we've got a live stream coming up this weekend guests to be announced pete still is going to make an appearance will be me and rob again um if you want further updates on that follow me on instagram here uh, which would be very much appreciated. I put posts on there all the time, as well as updates about forthcoming live videos. Don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe. That will be very much appreciated. Uh, and again, as per my post on the Facebook pages, as well as on Instagram, I've now hit 250 subscribers, which is absolutely stunning. So thank you one and all. Really appreciate it. Um, I'm loving the fact of all the live streams as well. It just has so much involvement with you as subs and us, well, me as users and me as broadcasters as such on our own channel with me and Rob. I uh, had a great time with uh, James at Moviebug. Um, finally, I'd probably like to say that obviously I'm at 250. I'd really love Alex Pitt to get there. So if you're watching this and you haven't subbed to Alex's channel, then I'd, I'd, I would like to do it. I'd like to do it. I would like to ask you to do that if you could. If you don't, then it's up to you. But other than that, thanks for watching my review of Aftershock. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some um, information from it. I didn't want to go too much of this plot because I didn't want to give too many spoilers away. But hopefully I'll give the overall view of it. Um, so, yep, yeah, so like I said, that's it. I'll be back hopefully on Sunday at 8.30 for another live stream. Unless I do another pickup or another review between now and then. Other than that, thank again for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. This is Jordy Paul. Done. Thank mm -hmm. you.